All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me today. We are going to go over the Insta360 app for the desktop and why there are a few instances where you might want to use that over the mobile application. So let's go ahead and open up this studio app right here. It's going to detect that I have an SD card in there with Insta360 files on it. I don't want to import all of them. I'm going to go to select files. And I know that this is the one that I want to work with right here. So I'm just going to drag and drop it right into this. It's going to load it right here into the timeline. So let's go ahead and move right over here. As you can see right now, we have 16 by nine aspect ratio, and you can also use your mouse to just move around and kind of adjust the angle that you want. If you wanna post something for social media, we can change it from 16 by nine to nine by 16. So now it'll fit perfectly for a nice little reel. We can also take a snapshot if we want to. If I know that I want to make this frame specifically a thumbnail for on social media, you can do that and save it right to your computer. And then we can also go full screen and preview this if we want to. Let's click out of that. Now the next thing I want to go over here, this right here is your timeline. So I know that I want to trim this video probably to right about where I get it right in the center there maybe like right about there. And then I also know that I don't need all that on the end. So we'll probably trim that to about 20 seconds, which I think would be good for an Instagram reel. There we go. So now this is our video right here. We can just hit play. We can move things around. You can see me, you can see the pilot, everything like that. So the next thing I wanna go over is our keyframe. So keyframes allow you to move the camera around in any different angle that you want since we have 360 degree field of view. So what I'm going to do is just kind of slowly have the camera rotate around the entire interior of the helicopter here. So first things first, I'm gonna select where I want my first keyframe to go right here. I'm going to hit the plus button. Now I can go here and adjust all the different angles and tilts and everything that I want. And even if I want to completely rotate it upside down, which would probably make you guys pretty sick, but, and then we can also zoom it out a little bit. I'll probably bring it to about 88 degrees, and then you can really, really zoom it out and see the 360 sphere, but we don't want that much. We'll probably go right about 80, so that way we don't have too much distortion there as well. Now we can also do a crystal ball. We have a tiny planet and then we have more of a natural view. So you kind of have some of those selections there built in for you automatically. So I'm gonna hit this little arrow right here to make that disappear. And then probably a few more seconds later, I'm gonna pause it. I'm going to hit the plus button again to bring up another keyframe. We're gonna move it probably right about here and then make that disappear as well. Go on in the next few seconds, right about there. Hit the plus button. I'm going to turn it this way a little bit more. Great, minimize it. And then our last one, I'll probably put right about there and then just kind of drag this over just like that so now if we play this you should see it to start rotate around the entire interior of the helicopter So the next thing I wanna go over is we have a stabilization type. Now flow state stabilization is on. I could probably turn that off to not have it crop in so much because we are so stable in here. But if you're doing more action-y shots, you might wanna have flow state stabilization on. And actually, since there is a little bit of shake from the helicopter, I think I'm going to actually turn that back on. So now you can see it looks a lot more stable. Now, if I wanna lock it on a direction, if I just want it to stay right here in this direction, I can turn direction lock on and off as well. The next thing that we can go over is, of course, stitching. Now, this is more if you're using a sticky lens guard, if you're above water, if you're underwater, or anything like that. We are clearly above the water. Thankfully, the helicopter didn't crash. So we're just gonna leave stitching the way it is right now. Now, here, media processing. This is kind of some basic color editing and wide angle adjustments that you can do. So we're on the ultra wide right now. You can do wide plus, but it will be applied to all keyframes. Doesn't really change it much, but then you can also make it a little bit more narrow and it's kind of super zoomed in. So we're just gonna keep it as ultra wide and not show that again. 
Now the next thing is we have Color Plus. So here's your before, here's your after. Me personally, I don't like to use Color Plus when I know I'm going to throw this into Final Cut and color grade this on my own. So I'm gonna leave that turned off. We also have Clarity Plus if you want to increase the sharpness and clarity, but Again, since I'm throwing this into Final Cut, we're just gonna turn that off. And Aqua Vision is if I know that I'm going to be filming underwater, which I'm not. Then we also down here, we have our true audio. We can do voice focus or noise reduction. You can also adjust the volume of the audio right down here with the slider. I know I'm just gonna put a trending audio over this, so I'm just going to leave the audio as is and reduce it in Final Cut Pro. You can also add some logos. I've personally never used this. I tried to upload one of my own logos. Didn't really look that great, but if you want to just have something simple like Venti Views right here, the text, it might be good if you're going to post some of that on social media and you can change the logo size and the positioning and all that kind of stuff right here with these sliders. Now there's another cool feature if you're doing more of an action-y shot. We can use what's called a deep track and I can just drag and drop with the mouse and let's say I want to have it focus on our pilot here. I can just say start tracking and it will only focus on him and the camera won't move at all. More for action shots than this shot specifically. Now, if I want to speed this whole project up here in Insta360 app and not necessarily Final Cut Pro, I can go to the little lightning bolt here, the time shift, and I can drag maybe till right about here, and it will speed that up and it will add some motion blur after exporting, so we can kind of see what that looks like, and it's basically going to double the speed. A little bit too fast, don't want to make you guys sick, so we're just going to Command Z to undo that. Okay, and let's talk about the final and most important piece about this piece of software that I would use over the phone app. So if we hit the little eye right here, we can see our resolution, frame rate, bit rate, duration, all that stuff. Now, if we go to the export button right here, first of all, I'm going to rename this Heli Ride, and you can set the location of where it's going to export. The next thing that you wanna do is up the bit rate to 200. The phone, because of the processors in the phone, only cap out at 100. If you take that up to 200, it's going to give you maximum flexibility in post if you want to edit this for your YouTube videos or take that little extra time for social media and just have it look a little bit better. Now our resolution, as we can see here, the phone only outputs at 1080 at 1920, the phone app, but we can change this to 2880 and then it changes to 5120 since we have 9 by 16 here. And if you really want to go the extra mile, you can change it from H.264 to ProRes. That's going to be a pretty big file size, but it will allow you to have a lot of editing flexibility in post. So we're just going to hit start exporting. You'll see a little percentage right down here. And then once it's done, you can re-import it into Final Cut Pro for whatever you want to do with it or Adobe Premiere. All right, guys, that's all I have for you. If you found this video helpful, like it, share it, comment on it. And until the next one, Venti Views out.